In this video, we're going to be looking at fisheye versus rectilinear lenses. Now, you may be familiar with these terms, you may not. You're probably familiar with the term fisheye. Even if you've not seen a dedicated fisheye lens like this, you've probably seen the clip-on fisheye lens accessories that you can put on smartphones or the fisheye filter effects that you can get as well. Basically, fisheye lenses make everything look really distorted. Fisheye lenses could also be called curvilinear lenses versus rectilinear. So linear lines, curved lines versus rectangular lines or straight lines. Now you will only ever find fisheye lenses being wide angle. You'll never see like a 200 millimeter fisheye lens. It all boils down to the distortion of wide angle. A wide angle lens is a wide angle lens because it has a wide field of view. So in order to have a wide field of view, you need to have light being able to enter the lens from very acute angles. So the front element needs to be very convexed, very curved, in order to allow the lens to be able to see such a wide field of view. Except with very curved glass like this, it's bending light as it's entering. Now, when you bend light in such a way, it's known as refraction. A lens is never just one piece of glass that's trying to bend all of the light straight into a tube. There's multiple pieces of glass that are trying to, one, create more of a gradual curve to the light so it doesn't refract quite as, uh, quite as severely, as well as trying to control this refraction and, and bend the light around to be very precise with how the light is falling on the sensor. Where the difference comes in, is a fisheye lens basically leans into having that distortion and, and kind of plays on it, whereas rectilinear tries to cancel it out. They use extra glass, they use more complex optical designs in rectilinear lenses to try and correct for all of this distortion. Whereas, like I say, fisheye will play into it to almost intentionally create very distorted lines in images. Now, it is worth noting though on a fisheye lens, it can produce straight lines as long as those lines run through the center axis of the frame. If you take a test shot with any fisheye lens of a, of a distortion chart, you know, all in grid lines, if you've got a line running right through the middle of the up and down the vertical of the image or straight across the horizontal center, those lines will always appear straight. It's only the lines a kind of either side of that center axis that starts to distort and they distort more the further away it moves. So above the middle line, it will start to bend upwards. Below the middle line will start to bend downwards. The centers obviously of rectilinear will also be straight as well. That's not to say that rectilinear is completely distortion free. You can still get distortion by the barrel or maybe sometimes pincushion distortion on rectilinear lenses but it, they've made a conscious effort to try and cancel and try and remove that distortion, whereas fisheye, like I say, plays into it. Now, what are the pros and cons to all this? Well, this is an 11 millimeter f4 rectilinear lens, whereas this is a 12 millimeter f2.8 fisheye lens. So this is actually a stop faster than this, and yet is significantly smaller and lighter and actually cheaper as well. Because the fisheye lenses don't require as much optics, they're not pushing as, as complex a designs to try and cancel out distortion, they're generally smaller and lighter and often cheaper as well. And in the case of this, lets in a stop more light. The other uh, difference, surprisingly, is the field of view. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking, 11 millimeter versus 12 millimeter, well, the 11 millimeter is going to produce a wider field of view. And that would normally be the case. 11 millimeter being a shorter focal length should create a wider field of view. But it is also then trying to correct a lot of that distortion, which is stretching out the edges and the corners to try and create straighter lines that the fisheye isn't bothering with. So actually the fisheye lens, the 12 millimeter fisheye lens, is able to produce a slightly wider field of view than an 11 millimeter rectilinear. Now, you can also correct the distortion in a fisheye lens, much like, you know, this is just taking what, what should have a lot of curvature from the front elements and is correcting it to straighten out the, the corners, pull the corners out, 
You can do the same in post-production with a fisheye lens. You can get what should be straight lines that appear curved in a fisheye lens to actually appear pretty straight in post-production. The downside to that, though, is you're then taking the curved image from a sensor and then ditching a lot of that information and distorting it to try and create straight lines, whereas this is doing the corrections before the light ever hits the sensor. So you're able to get more detail in those areas from a rectilinear lens than from a fisheye lens. So there are pros and cons to both. It's all personal preference. Ultimately, the difference between fisheye to rectilinear is to what extent they try to correct the natural distortion created by using convex glass in ultra wide angle lenses. On a side note, incidentally, I don't actually think that fishes see with a fisheye lens. I don't think their eyes produce a fisheye effect. I think fisheye is actually referring more to the look that is seen when you shoot underwater. Anyway, that is going to wrap this video up. As always, if you have any questions or queries, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.